<laughs> no, I just bit my tongue so hard. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Ow, I literally just cracked somebody in my neck. Um, good morning, everyone. Do I hear that you can see me in the mirror like, as I'm walking? Oh, that's kind of frappable. Today is Saturday, the 7th of November in the UK. For those of you that don't live in the UK, if you live in the UK, you've already, you already know what I'm about to say, bitch. You already know what I'm about to come out with. Um, we are back in a lockdown, which is absolutely amazing. I am so overwhelmed right now. I am so excited about this. I literally love it so much. I'm so glad, like, you know, to 2020 really is serving us good. We really are getting fed all the meals from the government, from just the world in general. You know, life is a movie. It'll never be a sequel. And my camera lens is dirty. So yeah, here in the UK, we're back in a national lockdown. And to be honest, I really am not complaining. Like, I can't complain. And to be honest as well, I really didn't go out much. Like, we really didn't do much. I can't remember the last time I actually left the house and did stuff. Like, I'm not a type of person to go to a bar. I don't really go to the pub. In fact, I never go to the pub. I'm more likely to go to a bar. Didn't really go for food out. I always Uber Eats. So to be honest, apart from me not being able to go, like, to the Arndale and stuff like that, like, nothing's really going to be changing too much in my life. I mean, it doesn't excuse the fact that it definitely is shitty like I would obviously prefer us not to be in a lockdown but it's a month it's four weeks I know it's gonna get extended but I don't want to keep saying that out loud because I feel like I'm the single soul person putting that into the universe and it's gonna be my fault if it gets extended and we don't want that to happen so yeah I honestly feel like so much has happened but also not a lot at all as well like does that make sense like, I feel like a lot in my life has changed and a lot has happened however I feel like it's also not been that much or it maybe just isn't that interesting to me to where I want to show it here an exciting thing that has happened though is I finally 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 got my car sorted out I have my car the day I got it I actually vlogged so you'll probably see that on my main channel at some point however I do in fact have a car it is currently in the car park so yeah you'll definitely see that at some point however you'll probably see my car in this vlog as well i'm gonna do like drive with me's and stuff but i'm waiting on a car mount for my camera so i can fit my camera in my car obviously i don't want to drive and hold my camera like this i will not be safe or fun or fresh i honestly would not be able to drive so we're not gonna do that but i will be filming a lot of drive with me content especially when we can't do anything like we can't go out and stuff so i feel like i'll be driving around a lot and filming a lot of car based content the drive throughs are still open i still need to go through the drive through for the first time I held off going through the mcdonald's drive through just because I wanted to film it. I'm literally such a dumb bitch. I literally could have just drove through a drive through but I really want to film it. I want to go to the drive through Starbucks. Oh, these endless opportunities now I've got a car. They really, really is. So we've come to the drive through at Starbucks. We were just waiting in a massive line. Uh, we just went to Asda as well. We were just waiting, uh, waiting in a massive line. <laughs> it turns out there's a Krispy Kreme drive through But also, why are the drive through so bloody rammed? No one's needing coffee at 9pm. Well, I'm getting a chai latte. I love chai latte. So you need coffee at 9 p.m., huh? I also, want one. I've got my glasses on, and I know people might not have seen me with my glasses on in years. It looks okay. No, no, no. Well, the thing is, I don't have my contacts in because it's lit, so I can't see without my <laughs> glasses on. Wacky. I am bored. So where's that bored. sneaky bin going then? Oh, that's the exit. Oh. Are you looking round your neck? Chevy and Will. Oh, the rest. <laughs> Byron, if you watch that back, you'll realise you just fucking <laughs> choke slammed me it's with the I car. Was Right, so I haven't vlogged anything purely because we went on Instagram Live. We're still live on Instagram, can't lie to ya. We? Uh, we've been in the drive-thru for probably 35 minutes. We just got our drinks. Mine is disgusting. Tastes like liquid shit. Um, and now we're just gonna sit and talk shit, so. Oh. Do you get embarrassed to talk about periods around Byron? Mm. No. <laughs> Don't say that, that's disgusting. It's a bit fragile. Dikes. Hi everyone, bit of a change of tone to this vlog. Um, don't know if you can tell, I've just been crying for the past 20 minutes. And I just spoke to my mum on the phone. I thought I would pick up my camera and just talk to you about something that's just happened. Uh, it's really not deep on my part, like I'm, it's nothing really to do with me. But I feel like it's also equally important to talk about. I don't know, I, I kind of want to, I'm just going to tell you what happened. Basically, just walked to Sainsbury's to pick up some food. It's the day before the lockdown. It is 9pm on Wednesday the 4th of November. Tomorrow we go into another lockdown and I know everyone's been really like stressed about it. No one really wants it to happen. Everyone's really anxious and like scared for it, um, which is all fair and understandable and like how, feel how you want to feel about it. I don't know why this has really fucking hit me hard. I walk in and 
There is a homeless guy near where I live and I see him literally whenever I walk to the shop I see him literally every single time. I always say hi to him, I always ask him how he is. He's never once asked me for money, he's never once asked me for anything. He always just says hi, um, asks us how my day was and I have always since moving here I've always spoke to him and said hi and like on my way there I always know I'm gonna see him and I look forward to seeing him and saying hi. And don't worry I went, he's not being murdered. <laughs> this sounds like I'm leading up to him. I went today and he's dead. No, I went today and as I was walking past he was standing up and he were about to walk like walk somewhere so as I walked past I stopped and stood and talked to him I normally like what speak to him as I'm passing him and because he was stood up this time I thought oh it's polite I'll just stop and speak to him and he was like hey, how are you blah blah and I'm like yeah not too bad um he was, then he started talking about this lockdown he brought up the lockdown and was saying talking to me about it asking like how I felt about it all and stuff and I like just out of curiosity like you don't want to intrude or come across rude at all but what happens to people that are sleeping on the streets or don't have like homes to go back to and stuff like that and he basically just turned around and was like I'll be here <laughs> for some reason it really fucked me up like he spoke about obviously the resources and stuff that he he can use and that he will be using and like the places he can stay and stuff but he he's predominantly gonna still be there in the same place where I see him every time and I literally walked back I finished my conversation with him of course and walked back to my apartment closed the door and I just started crying <sighs> It obviously hasn't took something like that for me to put into perspective how grateful and how fortunate and privileged I am. In terms of this pandemic, in terms of this lockdown, I feel like that hit a little bit different. Like, everyone's complaining on Twitter that we're going into another lockdown. Everyone's hitting it. Everyone's dreading Christmas time coming up. Like, there's all the people that are going to be by themselves. Like, circumstances obviously aren't what everyone wants but also if you are watching this like if you are physically seeing this you're you're privileged you're fortunate you're lucky whether you feel like you want the fact that you have so a device of some sort have internet connection at all to be able to view this you have a lot of privilege and a lot to be grateful for and i know it may not feel like it it may feel like everything right now going into this lockdown and even if you're watching this weeks into this lockdown it feels like everything is closing in around you and like you feel alone blah blah, blah and it's never ending you have so much privilege and so much to be grateful for. You might have family and friends around you, the people that love and care for you, even if it's one person, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say, I really can't fucking speak, it's really fucking like niggled at me. But yeah, I just wanted to put this in a vlog, I don't know where the fuck this is gonna go in a vlog. I don't know, I feel like if you're struggling with this pandemic and you're struggling with this lockdown or you're struggling with anything not even entirely related, we often need to be reminded and I will be reminded today of how I'm reminded every day like I honest to God don't go a day without thanking God the world whatever for my health for my friends and family all that stuff but that really just hit a bit different you know so I just wanted to put it in a vlog because you might need that reminder today you might be getting carried away and thinking that the world's crashing down on you but I promise there's always someone and not to find comfort in this, but there's always someone in a worse position than you are, without a doubt. And that's obviously not something to find comfort in, because that's sh shit, it fucking sucks. But the fact you're even seeing this and hearing me speak right now is a massive privilege. Not privilege because I'm speaking to you, <laughs> not at all. I mean, the fact that you have a device, you have some form of internet connection. To hear what I'm saying right now is something to be grateful for. So, just a little reminder, the world fucking sucks. But it sucks hell of a lot worse for someone else. I'm now just gonna eat my super noodles that I got from the shop. And I don't even know what and I'm gonna do what. I don't know. Probably just sit here and think about my life. But yeah. Just thought I'd drop that in there. Video of me crying on the internet probably won't make it to the main channel because <laughs> I'm just a fucking pussy. <laughs> I literally sat here crying because I had a conversation with someone and I think what makes it worse is that guy seems so lovely he doesn't seem like he's not that this makes anyone not lovely he doesn't seem like he's in, in and out of any bad habits he just seems as though I've never asked him his circumstances he seems as though he's fallen into a bad situation he really is just coping with it like his energy his attitude everything <sighs> I don't know he's a strong fucking man I'm gonna end this little clip before I get even worse, I need to rein it in a little bit, I need to just be thankful for what I've got and thankful for my super noodles and I'll let you get on with the vlog. Just a reminder, this pandemic and everything will pass, feels like a hellhole but you aren't the only one feeling like that and you won't be the only one feeling as low as that either, I promise you. Whew.
Peace out, Girl Scout. Now you've seen me cry. My nose is snotty. Crying makes my lips bigger, though. I've noticed that whenever I cry, it looks like I've had an extra mill of Juvederm. So maybe I'll cry more often. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Bye. I'll see you in the next clip. Who the fuck knows? Hello, everyone. How's it hanging? I really honestly don't know what this vlog is anymore. Like, I started filming it in 10 and I know we're going to go on my vlog channel because I feel like I'm neglecting you guys over there. And also, it's nice to have, like, a chill, more chill platform, whereas my main channel vlogs are very more, like, over edited and like are trying to be entertaining so i like the fact that i can just chill on here you know holes in my socks and all that is what i need for christmas mom if you're watching some in fact no i don't i just have holes in my socks i don't need more i have an abundance of socks actually anyway i today is what day is it today is the 17th of november oh my god it's nearly december that scares me we're officially two weeks away well officially two weeks into the lockdown two weeks away from the lockdown being lifted fingers crossed if they lift it on the 2nd of december like they said they were going to and I have some parcels. So I thought I'd just do literally like a little parcel unboxing. We've got some stuff from Boohoo, which I need to shoot today. I've been working with Boohoo on Instagram quite a lot. I basically am contracted. I know it looks like I'm doing a bunch of Boohoo ads. However, it's like one contract and I'm contracted to do 10 posts over the course of 10 weeks. Like every single week, they send me a new outfit basically. Um, and this is this week's outfit. So I'll open that in a second. I also got all my car insurance information. I know it's my car insurance because it says direct line on it. Which by the way, this is not sponsored at all. I found Direct Line to be such a good insurance company to go with. Like I literally were on Go Compare and it was showing me like thousands and thousands of pounds that I would have to pay for my car insurance as a first time driver. My engine size were against me. The fact that I've got no years, no claims were against me and all that stuff. So I literally were like a first time driver and I got a really decent like deal. It was still expensive but like from what I was looking at elsewhere um, it was really really good. So if anyone's wondering like I know I would have enjoyed hearing someone say this. Maybe look at Direct Line. Like don't go through a Compare the Market site because a lot of car insurance companies aren't on there like direct line doesn't show up on compare the market like swift cover doesn't show up on compare the market so definitely look on like independent like and on their actual website as opposed to going through like a like a loophole obviously it's good to get a gauge from those websites it's really easy however direct line came in clutch and it's all just come in the post so i have my policy now i don't know what this means i don't know what i do with this maybe i just hang on to it put it in like a little safe compartment also look how much i've butchered opening that asos very kindly gifted me all this stuff i just went online oh they sent me the jacket that I oh, I absolutely fucking love one ASOS as a brand in general but also the girls that work for ASOS I've literally met them like three or four times they're the sweetest people in the entire world and like every so often they'll message and be like hi do you want any gifting from ASOS and I'm like yeah and I always feel weird like asking for a lot um, I've never asked for this much before. I've asked for one, two, three, four, four things, but four like good things. So I'm excited and they've sent me all four. So let's start off with these jeans. I have been looking for some black jeans for the longest black from brown jeans for the longest time. I actually bought some from Urban Outfitters a while ago. However, the leg length was like an awkward, like they weren't intended on being cropped. I believe these ones are slightly cropped because they like grayed at the hem. So I imagine these ones will sit slightly more cropped, but the ones from Urban Outfitters just didn't look right. These look nice. I just wanted some brown jeans. Like I just, I'm loving brown right now. I want some brown jeans. So pick those up. They're from Collusion. They feel really, really nice. These are all like ASOS zone branded stuff, by the way. And then, oh, I'm gonna show you these just I'm so excited. I have been loving just lounging around in the house in like a hoodie and often my underwear. However, it is now really, really cold. And during the summertime, I know we're only here for like half of August, but September time we're still quite warm and this house gets boiling hot because it's all like all one side of the house is glass. Like all the wall that I'm looking at right now, my wall is glass, has bedroom is glass, then the kitchen is glass like in an L shape, which is really, really fucking nice. That's like the main reason we moved in here. However, it is like an actual greenhouse. And also I've realized now in the winter time, it is freezing cold and we haven't put the heat on yet. We keep saying do we put the heat on I'm like no we'll let to December so I have been cold in my underwear and a hoodie but then two hot interacts with bottoms so I picked up these which are some silk <laughs> I'm gonna look so dumb wearing these. Some silk. In fact, I don't even give a fuck. I'm excited about this. These are just some silk ASOS design, like, pyjama bottoms. And I am so excited to feel... Oh, I can't wait to, like, lay on the sofa and feel my leg touching the sofa in this material. Like, I'm so freaking excited. These are gonna be so, so comfy. They look really small, though, as in, like, short. So I don't know if I should have got a big... Size. Oh, no. Actually, they're, like, perfect size. Oh, my God. So excited about those. So that's just, like, for me and my own enjoyment. And I'm really gassed about that. Um, and then... 
I also picked up this jacket, which is beautiful. I literally saw this on ASOS like months and months ago and saved it to my like, little wish list. And I know it's low in stock. I got an alert from Shop Tagger the other day saying that they were low in stock. So I'm so glad that I got my hands on it. Do you? It's like a navy blue and brown, but it also has loads of fun, cool patches like all over it, all down the arms. It has a big patch on the back. I think this is so, so nice. And like the sleeves are like a leathery type material. Oh, this is so fucking cool. I'm actually gonna wear this today. This is what I wanted to wear today. Also, I faked hand for the first time, literally since, um, since I can remember. Like, I can't remember the last time I faked hand. We had a really nice summer in London, like, during lockdown, where we were literally out in the garden all the time, and I tanned naturally then. Then we went to Santorini, I tanned really well then. And I may have gotten a few cheeky. Um, but now they're closed, so I went and faked tan last night. It's actually a really nice colour. I used the brand Coco in Eve, and I've never used it before. Guys, if you can't tell, I'm so gassed by this outfit. Like, I actually think this is one of my favorite outfits. Like, let me just show you my shoe. You can't really see the full potential. But the orange shoe with the orange in this. Oh, the brown trousers. I've not done anything to my hair, so I'll just ignore that. But 